Welcome to the English Reading. I'm Laura from the library and today we are going to read an amazing story. Yes, this story is The Fat Cat on the Map from the collection I Can Read. The author of this story is Nori Carlin. I hope and you like it. First of all, remember that it's important to stay home and stay safe. Let's begin with this story, The Fat Cat on the Map. Wilma, the witch, has a crazy broom. It likes to fly around her room. She also has a fat cat and a pet rat. Wilma loves her pet rat. She calls the rat my little brat. And of course, the rat hates the cat. The cat does not care. The cat, mm, who is fat, just lies in the bed and stares at the rat. The rat hates that. One night, when Wilma was out, the fat cat got out of the bed. He went pee a pad and sat on the mat. This is my mat, said the rat. So what, said the cat. So get off, said the rat. No, I won't, said the fat cat. will go and get my bag, said the rat. It will get you off the mat. No, it won't, said again the fat cat. This is the mat of the rat, said the bat. So what, said the cat. So get off, said the bat. No, I won't, said the fat cat. Then I will go and get my hat, said the bat. It will get you off the mat. No, it won't, said the fat cat. Okay, this is the mat of the rat, said the hat. Mm, so what? said the cat. So get off, said the hat. Mm -mm. No, I won't, said the fat cat. You know, I am a cat, mm, and I am fat. No rat, no bat, no hat can move me. I shall see on this mat for as long as I wish. We shall see, said the hat. Look, look what we have, said the hat. Big deal, a dish, said the cat. A dish and what else, asked the hat. Mm. A fish, said the cat. A fish on a dish, said the hat. For me, asked the cat. Yes, for you, said the hat. Bring it closer, said the cat. No, 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 said the hat. Come and get it. Said the cat. You think that I don't know what you want to do? You want to get me off the mat. I won't get off. And that is that. Rat. What was that? Ask the bat. Hmm. I don't know, said the hat. Rat. 
rat. It sounds like a rat with a hat, said the cat. It is not me, said the rat. Mm -mm. What is a tat? asked the bat. I don't know, said the hat. Look, the broom, cried the bat. The broom flew into the room. It zoomed over the mat, over the cat over the hat and the bat and Wilma's pet rat. The fish flew off the dish. The fish it land on the hat, which it land on the bat, who it land on the rat, who land on the cat. Lying flat on the mat. So get up, said the fat cat. Mm. No, we won, said the rat and the bat and the hat. And guess what, kids? The fish said nothing. And yes, Wilma came home. She looked at the room. She picked up the broom. Then she asked, why is the fish out of the dish? Because of the cat, said the rat. Mm. The fat cat sat on my mat. And yes, the fat cat got up and stretched. Up flew the rat, the bat, and the hat. He ate the fish, licked the dish, and went back to lie down in the bed. Finally, the man said, Thank goodness! The end. Very good, kids. We finished with the fantasy and funny story, The Fat Cat on the Mat. Remember that if you have a book, just give you the time and read it. Thank you so much for paying attention and I will see you the next week. Bye! Kids, another important thing I want to mention is that you have reading comprehension activities like this with you. Please take a moment to do these activities and learn more about the story. Check the activity number below and answer it in your copies. Bye!